Why are you forcing your lifestyle over on me? Who's forcing you to be gay? Uh, Joe Biden and his crew. This mega moron's last two brain cells are fighting to the death, and thankfully the good liars captured it all. Joe Biden's forcing you to Absolute? be gay? No, not forcing me. I, make sure you get that right. I ain't gay and I ain't got nothing to do with you, okay? okay? Don't ask me. Well, if you're so brainwashed into believing Joe Biden of all people's forcing people to be gay, it does seem like being gay is what it is all about, preposterous as such a tough guy, right? No, but I thought you were saying you're saying he's forcing you. He's forcing no, he's, you to be gay or he's, he's forcing, forcing you to be what, his what's he forcing? The whole party is forcing their lifestyle over on to us. Period. But nobody's forcing you to be gay. It's just so people people can live the life how they want to live without persecution. Jason Selvig is spot on with this response. And this bit is especially ironic coming from someone who has seemingly bought everything that the Republican Party has sold him over the years. The church is supposed to direct the government. The government is not supposed to direct the church. That is not how our founding fathers intended it. And I'm tired of this separation of church and state junk that's not in the Constitution. It was in a stinking letter, and it means nothing like what they say it does. The church is supposed to um, direct government, not the opposite yeah. uh, way. The church is supposed completely. to influence government. And, yeah. and, and we need to be so involved in what is going on in our government. I mean, the Bible says that the government rests on, uh, on his shoulders, on, yeah. on God's shoulders. And I believe that Republicans need to prove to the American people that we are the party of American nationalism and Christian nationalism. I'm a Christian. I have no problem saying I'm a Christian nationalist. And I think that's an identity that we need to embrace. So you see, I also call myself a Christian nationalist. And that's not a bad word. That's actually a good thing, right? And there's nothing wrong with leading with your, in, with your faith because we should lead with our faith. Because if we're doing that, then we're doing the right thing. It doesn't mean we're perfect, it just means we're doing the right thing. And when you have lunatics like this holding real positions of power, the threat becomes even more real than it already is. This is logic that underlies all forms of bigotry that have their roots in religious beliefs. Religious doctrine is just used as a shield to deflect away from any critical thinking outside of whatever specific religious system you're following. And we're seeing the effects of this play out in real time. Uh, education for our children, okay? Yeah. that it's okay to be that way, and it's not. But it's ungodly. It's okay. Period. But you're saying like... It's period. There's no answer. There's no more question to that. Period. Because in Leviticus... It's ungodly, friend. Okay. So in the Bible, in Leviticus, yeah. it says, if a man lives with a man, he should be put to be death. Careful. Also... You be careful. Okay? Also in Leviticus... We're going to go to eternity, and we're going to answer for all this right I, here. I, will, I look forward to it. Right. Also in Leviticus, it says, if you spill your seed... You need to give two turtle doves to a pastor, a priest. Um, spill the seed meaning ejaculate. Have you given turtle doves to, to priests or pastors like it says in the Bible? No. You haven't? No. This is what the face of defeat looks like and exactly why it's so asinine to take anything that the Bible says is fact. Yes, there are a ton of beneficial lessons to be learned from it and any other religious text for that matter, but all these people do is cherry pick certain passages and stories that justify the hatred they already possess. What's one thing that you loved about his presidency when he was president that helped your life? Well, I'll be very honest with you. I am all about biblical, civical truth. And he was too. He believed in one man, one woman for marriage. He did not believe in abortion. He did not believe in the LGBTQ, whatever they're doing. He wasn't trying to destroy America, but build it up according to the principles of the Bible. If you truly believe in the biblical principles, you do not advocate for same-sex marriage. You do not advocate for abortions. You do not advocate for anything that God created one man and one woman. That's a DNA. That DNA will always exist within that human being. It's this world that makes their minds believe different. And he goes along with it. But what if, you know, what if you have a child who was born gay and you he want... He's not born gay. He is born either a male or he is born either a female. It's the no, world. No, I'm not saying that he's not male. I'm just saying that he's gay, his sexual orientation. That is something that he mentally is in, indoctrinating himself to believe that. 
So you're, you, he's not born? He is, not, he is not. No, you cannot. Your DNA, you cannot change your DNA. That no, is I'm not saying your DNA. I'm not at all saying well, anything about that. Well, that DNA is developed inside the womb of a mother. And after you're born, that's what it is. It continues that way. It does not change. Well, my gay, so for example, my gay friends say that they were born gay, and you say that they weren't. They're, they're males and females. I disagree with that. I, they are not born. They don't know as a child that they are gay. No, I'm not saying as a child. I don't know what age they are, but, but it's part of them as the same way heterosexuality is part of me. Because that's, their, that's what they want to believe. They want to be a part of what is not created by God. If you could, please do become a channel member at youtube.com slash TYT sports to keep us afloat and or go to TYT.com slash join. If you wish to follow me, you can catch me out on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Appreciate everybody watching. Have a great day.